Ang kwicho. Ang jumlah pakar hamto kajim laka nanti eksi sam laka hai mon pedal pitika jun terpiki pek pon ang jumlah sum jumlah jun tha ang jumlah ban tamrat tha sam nau sam nabo sa prinya sam nau sam terap terkai kam sa sai men thai meri ko sa sai jum nu dai pek pon jum nang ang hai chao pakan ti san sok nung krau lai ka sa i bai roi ka sap nu ông chủ nhiệm ra tha nâng sắp đặt phía ký nơi bước thằng ngày chăn sắp đặt rồi thông chơi lộn với tôi bây giờ cục bế Good morning, Mr. President. Your Honours, I apologise for the question of my colleagues who are accused of the defence team. Maybe they are some of the more prominent people who are accused of pawn. But the fact that some of the experts are not finishing the testimony for the lunch break, the line is quite upset with the fact that Mr. Hinton's testimony this morning in relation to the word "pawn" is not correct. And he would like, in the presence of Mr. Hinton, to give a reaction to this testimony. And the request is. ការប្រាប់ប្រាប់ពីថាយូននេះហើយកត់សាលាសំថាអាពេលវេលាមីស្ទឹងហ៊ីនតុនបានជាមីស្ទឹងហ៊ីនតុនបានជាមីស្ទ
ដោយសារតែពីបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបាន
ຈຶ່ງຖ້າຕານີ້ຊິການອະນຸວັດສໍາລັບແນ່ຈຸນຽງຕັ້ງອ້ອຄືຖ້າຖ້າຖ້າເກີດປີປະລິບັດເອົ
NDK in Cambodia. Uh, you know, I direct you to page 215 of my book. Uh, you know, I discuss it in more length. Uh, and I don't think that among the scholars uh, there's any controversy over this. Uh, Cambodians, uh, many Cambodians with whom I've spoken, there's no controversy about this. Um, so, uh, you know, Mr. Nguyen Gia, uh, I think it's important. I look forward to hearing him speak about that, or Don Peng, or whatever he wants to speak about. I think that's important. To hear his perspective. Um, so I, I think I would just reiterate my position that this document affirms my argument. Um, on pourrait effectivement continuer la discussion, malheureusement, je suis obligé de passer à un autre thème, sinon je vais jamais terminer. Um, je voudrais maintenant um, venir sur un autre point que vous avez abordé au cours de votre déposition, à savoir um, la question du peuple nouveau, et notamment... J'ai perdu la page de votre livre euh, euh, où vous mentionnez ce point, je, je, je vais la retrouver. Euh, et notamment, euh, ce que vous avez indiqué euh, en disant que euh, parfois, euh, dans ce que vous avez eu comme expérience dans la région 41, vous avez entendu un, une personne que vous avez interrogée euh, disant que... Euh, le peuple nouveau, euh, euh, le terme utilisé était soit euh, prisonnier de guerre, soit esclave. Je me suis dit, je me retrouve la page en question avec l'aide de mon équipe. Et euh, je voulais aborder avec vous euh, un article de Steve Hedder, document E3-3346. Je cherche l'anglais. Ah non, excusez-moi. J'ai retrouvé le, le passage de votre livre. C'est la page euh, euh, 86 de votre livre. Euh, ERN, donc le document E3 bar 3346. ERN en anglais 00431528. Et voilà ce que vous dites en anglais. Sometimes, new people were even referred to as war slave. As any ignore discover when the heard a nurse ask someone if they had fed the war slave yet. Fin de citation. Ah. Je, je, vais, je vais recommencer euh, parce que je crois qu'il y a eu un problème euh, d'interprétation en français. Euh, J'ai pu parler trop vite, mal parlé, donc je recommence. Page 86 euh, du document E3-3346. Sometimes, new people were even referred to as war slaves as Engnor discovered Uh, uh, Nguyen, uh, alors, sorry for uh, my uh, accent. H-A-I-N-G, <laughs> plus loin, N-G-O-R. Discovered when you heard a nurse ask someone if they had, entre parenthèses, fed the worst slaves yet. Fin de citation. Et je voudrais mettre votre, euh, cet extrait de euh, votre ouvrage en parallèle avec un, un extrait de l'article de Heider E3 bar 4-5-2-7 que vous aviez également dans le classeur. Et le RN... En anglais, euh, là, normalement, il devrait y avoir un post-it euh, sur le document, à M. Hinton, le RN en anglais, 0, 0, 0 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6,
6-2. Je crois que ça se poursuit sur la page suivante. Le RN en Khmer, il y 0-0-8-3-0-7-6-8. Et le RN en français est le 00-7-9-2-9-2-1. Et vous avez déjà pris connaissance, je suppose, de l'article dans son intégralité, mais ce partage en particulier. Euh, Steve Eder qui a propulsé un nom important euh, de document contemporain au Parti social démocratique. Il a un certain nombre euh, de choses qu'il a trouvées parmi ces documents contemporains, que ce soit des journaux, que ce soit des réunions de comités permanents, qui évoquent euh, le peuple nouveau et les consignes euh, qui ont été dans ces documents euh, à l'égard euh, à l'égard de plusieurs questions à vous. Poser, euh, notamment sur les étendards révolutionnaires que vous avez pu euh, consulter, mais je voudrais d'abord commencer par la citation de euh, Steve Eder, qui en, en fait en rapport avec le passage que je viens de citer de votre page. Pour faire du peuple nouveau une composante stable d'un bloc monolithique de solidarité avec le pouvoir étatique révolutionnaire. Les cadres locaux avaient pour instruction de se situer à l'égard des évacués entre guillemets dans une perspective d'ouverture en faisant preuve de souplesse et d'indulgence vis-à-vis d'eux et en ne les considérant en aucun cas comme des prisonniers il devait aussi prévenir l'intolérance entre le peuple ancien et le peuple nouveau en les faisant travailler côte à côte dans, entre guillemets, une ambiance de bonheur et de solidarité. Il devait améliorer le niveau de vie du peuple nouveau pour lui montrer que ce régime était le sien, veiller à ce que, la, ce que le peuple ancien lui fasse bon accueil et partage avec lui les terres, le bétail et la nourriture. Les anciens ne devaient pas profiter du travail du peuple nouveau, mais soutenir ceux qui viennent tout juste d'arriver à la campagne avec pour seul bagage dans leur main, montrant ainsi leur absence totale de préjugés à l'égard des nouveaux venus. Le peuple nouveau et le peuple ancien devaient donc vivre, travailler, étudier, s'amuser, jouir de la prospérité et souffrir de la faim ensemble dans la collectivité que constituent les coopératives. Les cadres étaient prévenus une véritable rééducation du peuple nouveau exigeait du parti qui fasse la preuve que la révolution pratiquait vraiment l'égalité économique. Cette politique était transmise aux organes locaux du parti sous la forme d'une instruction suivante. Les évacués doivent être considérés comme faisant partie intégrante du peuple cambodgien et non comme étant tous des ennemis. Il faut donc prévoir de la nourriture, de l'eau et un gîte pour les évacués, tuer des animaux, donner des animaux aux évacués et du riz provenant de la coopérative. Je n'ai pas pour des questions de temps sur l'intégralité des débats de la sur les citations qui n'ont pas tout le temps indiqué ce qui est entre guillemets, mais cela ressort en tout cas de la vie sous les yeux, parce que ce sont des citations de documents d'époque. Concrètement, euh, euh, il y a euh, en tout cas euh, dans le travail de Steve Edder sur l'intégralité sur l'ensemble, la masse de documents qui tentent à démontrer qu'il y avait des consignes qui étaient différentes de ce qui a pu être appliqué sur le terrain. Ma question, la première question, c'est est-ce que sur ce passage et notamment sur les notes de bas de page, les documents qui sont cités, est-ce que vous aviez euh, vous avez eu connaissance euh, de ces documents dans, ou de ce type euh, euh, de consignes euh, dans les documents que vous avez consultés 
je précise et je sais que cet article de Steve Heder, qui s'appelle « Réévaluation du rôle joué par les hauts dirigeants et les responsables locaux dans les crimes commis sous le régime de la Constitution démocratique, la responsabilité cambodgienne située dans une perspective comparative, je pense que cet article a été publié après votre l'apparition de votre ouvrage. Euh, je ne vous ai pas vu dans votre bibliographie, euh, mais est-ce que par la suite, vous avez ta, eu connaissance euh, de tels documents ta, ou même euh, avant euh, Est-ce que vous en avez eu connaissance euh, ຈຳກະທາຄັນແລະກໍອ່ານນຸດເຕກໍປະຕາຍຈຳກະທາຄັນແລະກໍອ່ານນຸດເຕສະຕີວະເຮດເດີ້ອ້າຍບານເປັນ
and from lived understandings on the ground. And in my book, I refer to this as the theological localization and take. Uh, uh, I don't want to go over it too much, but it's clear as well that having said that, people had the potential to sharpen their consciousness, to fashion, and transform themselves into a pure revolutionary being. The different groups were viewed as having greater or lesser likelihood. This is true as well, even in CPK cadre, who might have come from privileged backgrounds, and I refer to the Insari uh, notebook that I mentioned before, which is evident. Everybody had to try and purify themselves. And I said that because people have tendencies that they constantly have to uh, try to work through to sharpen, to focus themselves, to become mindful, to have a, a pure political consciousness. But new people were marked, and I refer to the marking of difference, and stigmatized, and people were aware of that difference that had been crystallized as we move through the temporal and spatial variation through time. As I said, once again in 1976, those people who certainly the evidence documents in 75 came through and there was a hope that maybe they could reform themselves. Once you began to have suspicion, the fear of coups, a growing sense of paranoia, the beginning of purges, uh, people, the notion that there were internal enemies that needed to be rooted out, found, and eliminated on the ground as the orders came down to eliminate members of the old society, and I refer to that fact to uh, TIP in my interview, as well as to the meeting in Region 41 uh, given by the cadre who uh, Mr. Defense, uh, co-lawyer uh, leaves his TIP, which refers to a meeting as well. It's one small example um, of a process by which those people who have been marked as different, who are viewed as having a lesser potential for reform that then turns into the threat, the contamination, the belief that these people are internally subverting the revolution, you begin to have purges to sweep up not just cadre, but former officials of the Khmer Republic, people who wear glasses, students, professors. Uh, again, I refer to my book to many other uh, documents that refer to those very backgrounds that people who had been labeled new people came from. They came from the cities, they were associated with capitalism, they were viewed with suspicion. Um, you know, as well, there's the thing about the positives versus full rights or candidates. Um, I also should note that, again, in the, in the spirit of looking at a document's totality, there are other things in this article by Steve Hedder, including the belief that ethnic Chinese had been singled out, and in contrast to the view of Ben Kiernan, he may, con may constitute a genocide. Uh, so again, uh, that is part of his argument as well. And that's in this, art this uh, article by Steve Hedder as well as the other one uh, that we discussed earlier. Alors, peut-être pour préciser, je vous remercie des commentaires que je voulais avoir, c'était euh, votre réaction par rapport à, 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 à ce que le terme qui a été utilisé dans la région 41, qui a priori vient en contradiction avec les consignes qui ont été données euh, dans certains documents. Et je précise que euh, Steve Eder a témoigné devant, euh, devant cette chambre dans le dossier, euh, dans le dossier euh, 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 bar 1 et que nous avons entendu. Je préférerais m'axer sur vous, votre ขยมสมมาบ่าวมันนี้ได้ตัวคอมเมนต์ของคุณ <coughs> 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 <coughs>
euh, étendard et jeunesse révolutionnaire de 1977 que vous avez utilisé. Est-ce que des revues euh, 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 est euh, c'est un thème que vous avez abordé avec euh, les euh, personnes que vous avez eues, euh, en entretien euh, dans la région est-ce que, par exemple, vous leur avez posé des questions sur est-ce qu'ils avaient accès à cette documentation Qui avait accès à cette documentation Comment étaient diffusées ces revues ou c'est quelque chose que vous n'avez pas touché au cadre de vos recherches Est-ce que vous avez accès à cette documentation 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 Thank you, uh, Council. Um, I just want a small point of clarification that Hang Noor, I believe, is in Batumbong, uh, not in Region 41, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, he wrote a memoir from which I could have been quoting in the passage uh, that you referred to, but I think the, and the quick answer is no, I didn't have those documents, um, so I did not refer to them. My goal was to try and understand the lived experience of people from this village in this area Part of the lived experience are the frames of understanding through which they understood the events that took place. Terms that they used to refer to their experience very frequently were base people, old people, new people, 1975 people. Those terms were important categories, and people interpreted their experience. Those were the frames through which, including both, I should say, old and new people, distinctions were made about people, and they would refer to the purges as taking away sometimes in groups of new people, families of new people. So I did this. Okay, I'm sorry. 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 Je suis désolé, au fur et à mesure que le, le temps va passer, je vais être un, un peu plus concentré sur le, le, le point principal de ma question qui était de savoir, et vous y avez répondu au début. Est-ce que vous avez posé des questions sur l'accès, la diffusion et j'ai compris que non. Il n'y a pas de souci, je suis désolé de vous devoir vous couper, mais vous avez entendu, M. le Président, mon temps est, mon temps est vraiment compté ce matin. Je voudrais revenir sur... Je voudrais revenir sur... Je voudrais revenir sur... La page 265 de votre ouvrage euh, qui vous a euh, été présenté, qui a été évoqué euh, par euh, ma consoeur euh, des parties euh, civiles euh, et qui évoquait euh, la rotation des cadres euh, euh, au sein de... Euh, vous, je, vais, je vais vous citer, je voudrais, je voudrais commenter ensuite, vous avez parlé, vous avez parlé d'un népotisme, il y a un népotisme, un clientélisme, patronage, etc. Et euh, dans votre... Euh, Ouvrage, vous parlez de la région 41, vous avez étudié, et vous dites, je cite en anglais, c'est à la fin de la page, c'est à la fin de la page, The Khmer Rouge seem to have recognized this pattern and to prevent enemies from escaping. Often placed cadres and soldiers without local ties in positions of power. Fin de citation. Um, en dehors de la région 41, à quels <coughs> exemples <coughs> faites-vous référence <coughs> à cette partie de ce, cet ouvrage <coughs> Thank you, Council. Um, again, uh, my intention was to represent the lived experience of the people from this area and to present the history as it unfolded and as it related to the broader history that was taking place. Um, so this, when I speak, I'm speaking in reference to my interviews that took place uh, with these individuals. Um, and as I said before, it was very difficult to do research to find former members of the Khmer Rouge. Um, I did find some. I did interview them, as I said. And I've been, uh, as well, uh, pleased to find that different documentation uh, has supported many of my findings, including the purges in Region 41 and the execution of the 
awesome population in the place. So again, this is what I found. I present, I've always presented it this way. And the way to assess it, as I'm sure the trial chamber will do, is to look at other information and pull it together and assess the veracity based on that. Uh, so. Ma question était plus précise que ça. En dehors de la région 40, est-ce que vous évoquez particulièrement d'autres endroits où cette conclusion que vous faites se réfère à votre travail sur la région 40? Uh, thank you, Council. Um, I was unable to locate exactly where you are on the page. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, no, I did not go and seek uh, to interview people about their lived experience in other areas. I focused on uh, Kampong Siem in Region 41. Je vous remercie de cette précision. Je oh, essaie de resserrer parce que mon confrère a confirmé la question aussi. Et et du coup, je voudrais poser deux de derniers points. C'est um, um, des questions peut-être plus larges au niveau anthropologique. Vous avez um, évoqué avec euh, Monsieur le coprocureur euh, la question euh, euh, de l'île nationale, et ça je renvoie à, votre, euh, à la page 267 euh, de votre ouvrage, euh, ERN en anglais 00 Vous n'avez pas votre ouvrage avec vous Je pensais que vous... Je partais à chaque fois du principe que vous aviez votre ouvrage euh, avec vous. Alors, euh, je voulais vous lire un... Euh, je vois que M. le coprocureur euh, a dit qu'il ne voulait pas vous parler. Euh, donc, c'est la page 267 de votre ouvrage. Où vous parlez de... Euh, du sacrifice de sang, etc. Il y a de façon plus large. Et de, notamment de l'île révolutionnaire. Euh, du contenu démocratique. Vous avez euh, commenté euh, à plusieurs reprises en parlant également euh, de l'exemple euh, de Dampé et de, de, de l'exaltation, la glorification des figures révolutionnaires, etc. Et ma question était euh, est-ce que c'est vraiment quelque chose qui est propre euh, euh, au contenu démocratique ou est-ce que de façon plus générale toute, euh, les sociétés exaltation de Mais certaines figures euh, par le déclenchement du sang. Euh, euh, je vais évidemment vous parler de la Marseillaise. Euh, euh, L'Union nationale française a quelques strophes. Il nous parle de la chère aux armes de citoyens euh, qu'un sang impur abreuve nos sillons. Il me semble aussi que euh, dans le cadre euh, de euh, l'hymne américain, il y a aussi une vocation à un sang ou deux 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 sang. Est-ce que euh, ce n'est pas quelque chose qui est propre à tout, euh, tous les États ou toutes les histoires nationales, où il y a eu des luttes de libération, où il y a eu des révolutions Est-ce que ce n'est pas quelque chose qui est propre à tout, tous les États ou toutes les révolutions nationales Uh, thank you, Council, uh, and thank you for bringing up uh, an important issue, uh, which is that when we look at violence, at genocide from afar, if we look at ideological registers from afar without an understanding of the local context, we project and impose our beliefs, those things that we understand on that context. In order to understand how the meaning of a song, the meaning of metaphors, 
meaning of phrases like uh, class grudge, uh, you need to understand the local context. So it's easy to search for different sorts of similarities, but you need to take each piece of whatever it is, of ideology, of song, of dance, uh, of things people say, and you need to mesh it in a given context and understand the broader the degree to which these, in the context of this trial, the degree to which such, such idioms are linked to a broader incitement of hate. The notion of blood, uh, as I talk about here, also links back to uh, the notion of blood back to my discussion of begrudgment, of a class grudge, which appears, as I said before, uh, in the article on Dam Peng that came out in the Revolutionary Youth Magazine in 1973, but is fairly well, I believe, fairly well known amongst uh, Khmer Rouge Cadre, uh, sort of a, he's sort of a legendary figure. Uh, that essay is followed by one that is about a class grudge. In the anthem, it says, again, right, blood red blood, bright red blood, which covers the towns and plains of Kapuchia, and it goes on, the blood turning into unrelenting hatred. Phrases like that, perhaps you can find here and there, but you need to look at it in the context, a specific cultural and historical context, and interpret it within that context. Not to do so invites the projection of assumptions of people and to make generalizations without understanding a locality. Um, so again, uh, it's easy to search for commonalities. It's much more difficult to find the nuances of each situation. Uh, and in terms of an anthropological attempt, that's part of what we try to do. Je suis obligé de raccourcir, je suis obligé de raccourcir, donc je ne pourrais pas vraiment relancer, mais ma question, c'est, votre réponse à ma question, c'est de dire que ne peut pas comparer le contexte révolutionnaire de, euh, du moment où a été euh, de, de, de la Marseillaise, pour reprendre l'exemple de la France, ou euh, le rappel des patriotes ou des fondateurs euh, pour les États-Unis, vous estimez que ce sont des choses qui ne sont pas comparables, ça Je suis désolé, et avec une réponse sur Encore des questions et je... Merci. May, may I respond? Thank you. Uh, as I said before, uh, an anthropological perspective seeks to be holistic, to try as best as possible to spin judgment, to understand the local frames of understanding and to be comparative. Comparative analysis is possible and is done in anthropology, but it's done after the attempt to try and understand the locality to the fullest extent possible, as opposed to coming in and projecting external categories. A very simple example would be the use, for example, of coming in with a category of post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a biomedical category, and trying to classify people in the locality in terms of that category without any understanding of the local nuances of that thing we call trauma. Uh, That's a slight example. But my very book shows how you can take a local experience in your perspective and you can extract out generalizations and create a comparative model. So I would put forth my book as precisely an example of what you're talking about, but one that's done with attention to and a focus upon the local level. It's a comparative model, but it emerges from detailed ethnographic research. J'aurais beaucoup d'autres questions à vous poser, malheureusement, je vais vous adresser à អស់សមគុណលោកប្រធានខ្ញុំសូមអនុញ្ញាតខ្ញុំគុំសំអុនជាសហមេត្រវីការពារក្តីរបស់លោកខៀវសំផនហើយសូមជម្រាបសួរល
ដែលគេ Uh, thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. Um, you know, I can't tell you the exact genealogy. It's a very fascinating, interesting question. But in terms of the specific moment we're talking about, Democratic Campuchia, in the years before and the years after, there's detailed analysis uh, about the use of this term. លោកអាចបញ្ជាក់ពីរយៈពេលតាក់ទងទៅនឹងអំឡុងពេលថាវាវែងប៉ុណ្ណារាប់រយឆ្នាំរាប់ពាន់ឆ្នាំឬមួយ
earlier, uh, the word yuan can be used at times in ways that don't have full, uh, have sort of strong racist connotations, sometimes in ignorance. Uh, so there are other contexts in which it is used. I said that clearly at the very beginning. In order to understand the deployment of the word yuan in the context of DK, as well as other highly politicized contexts, when the word is brought into ideologies that incite hate, ranging from the Khmer Republic uh, into politics in the 1990s in Cambodia, the word UN is referred, used to refer to ethnic Vietnamese as part of a broader context of hatred and incitement uh, that's linked to political, ideological broadcast. So while noting that there are other contexts in the context of ideological mobilization, in the context of seeking to root out internal enemies growing from within, in context of mobilizing against a diffuse ethnic Vietnamese enemy, in those precise contexts, the use of the word UN, which I've been talking about, refers to racist, language, uh, stigmatization of ethnic Vietnamese. But again, there, I've noted from the very beginning that there are other possible uses of the word UN uh, that are done in ignorance or in other contexts, not in the broader context of incitement, propaganda that promotes hate, where the word can be used differently. บาดเจ็บตั้งแต่ปีนี้ខ្ញុំសួរសំណួរតូចមួយគឺទាក់ទងទៅនឹងមកមហោបខ្មែរយើងលោកដែលធ្លាប់សាកសម្លមជួយយ
thank you, Mr. Co-defense lawyer. Um, so as I said before, if we look at uh, the many CPK, DK broadcasts which use the word UN, which are deployed in a broader context of incitement, in those contexts, the word UN is being mobilized to be directed both against military troops, against Vietnam, which is viewed as a threat, as well as to ethnic Vietnamese in the country more broadly. The term has been mobilized in a variety of contexts. Uh, at different uh, political 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 uh, the term that I frequently heard, most frequently, in reference to ethnic Vietnamese, uh, it was often said uh, in a strong way, almost spat out at times, was the word UN. That is the one that, based on the lived experience of the people with whom I was doing research, the one that was mentioned by those people, it was not unusual. It was a term that was circulating uh, in the flip and politics as well, being used by politicians at the time. It's a word that other scholars, such as Penny Webb Edwards in the article I talked about, when she spoke about the intact period, referred to the use of the term. Uh, so it was a word that was widespread. Uh, during my research, uh, and again, I think there's a literature that supports the association of the word UN with strong anti-Vietnamese sentiment. ដែរសមគុណខ្ញុំអាចសង្ខេបពីសក្តិកម្មរបស់លោកបញ្ញមិញបានទេថា <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. Um, again, I, I would never say that, offer a definitive conclusion about whether there are other words. Usually there are multiple words uh, to refer to people, for example, as dogs. It's a very insulting thing in Cambodia to refer to a human being as a dog. Sometimes I've heard people say the UN dogs. Right? So the word can be mobilized in different ways. But if we talk about the specific context, as I've said before, at the time I was in Cambodia, in the research I was doing, the word that people used and that reflected their experience at the time was the word UN. បាទសមគុណពាកពាកលោកនិយាយមិញថែមពាកថាអាច្កែហើយបើនិយាយទៅពាកថាអាច្កែនេះជាពាកជេបើអញ្ចឹងទោះបីពាកនៅពីក្រ
hơi khi nhôm trong xuân lộ bánh bánh này cứ tiệt tôn đừng bị ai cái đấy đại phá sầm đau từ lỡ duôn chỉ chuyên chiết duôn chỉ tu từ mình mình cà phê bịa bột hay nơi tại bịa duôn tại đại lý khi nhôm trong xuống bị bịa đòi lại muối đại cái phá máy phá chấm nước bịa thải duôn đi hay đại miền này đối khi nhôm duôn đại phần tác về miền lệ cả nạp phẩm mạt anh ấy để khi nhôm trong xuân lộ tại lộ ở bàn loại tọt được chấm thế chắc khi nhôm xong xua từ xong đồ xây tiệt khi trang xu bình chữa lột tha nước nông sâm mai sừng kềm chỉ biết xây nông tu sửa bọt chặt sập nông đạn cao ải môn rừng cỏ cày nắng tao tao bắt tay cam bưởi chia thật nơi cầu ất tỷ bồn này sừng kềm tự chặt đại lực tế nông bê nô Thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. Um, I think, uh, yes, that's clear. Maybe to move things along, you might couch a more direct question, though. That a fairly minor point of fact. Some of the things that I have said about the comedy, block of the block Campuchia chỉ tìm liên project mới, đồng bài pháp giáo dục vậy, bà dân chỉ lộ, dù thà Campuchia cứ thất được nông ất tỷ bồn này xứng kiếm tự chuyện không. Uh, thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. I think the translation was not clear. Please repeat the question. Bà xâm nua rồi bỏ khi ông cứ tựa tôn tên nâng ca pra pra Tức đầy cam của chí Nông lẽ khả nạ Nên ca đàn đa âm pha bà dọc nha Rồi viên bà lọc xe rây nâng bà lọc công mình đi Nhưng khi ông chọn đàn thà Tớ viên viên cả ta vậy Đã là nôm ai Phía kì tiền bì Khi khả khang công mình đi nâng khang xe rây Pra pra cam của chí Đảm bây tiền cam của chí Ở thị lệ chôn tớ khả nông Sân khuyên tớ chạy nè vậy Thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer, for your clarification. And again, of course, as I said before, if you look at the process of genocidal priming, you need to look at the process of socioeconomic upheaval. And as part of that process of socioeconomic upheaval, in addition, there are a wide range of factors that are involved in the context of Cambodia. One of those factors is geopolitics. So, yes, that's definitely a factor. Việc bất chiến đối xử nô lộ hai cư chân kì 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 dụng chân mềm Bà xung hòa khốn Tiện tôn tình nâng ca tầm lẹ cổ bài cho bọc xa rốt ảm mê rích Chúng chưa tha lộ bàn cho chế kháng đàn khá hói Chúng còn ta chọn xua bình chiếc đời khá lây tha Ta miên phát bác bác ở vầy tế đo xung cung Campuchia Nên xa mấy nụ đòi xa tài ca tầm lẹ cổ bài cho bọc xa rốt ảm mê rích Thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. You know, absolutely, I think, as I describe in my book, during the process of socioeconomic upheaval in Cambodia, one of the factors that was involved in this process was the U.S. bombing of Cambodia that began before 1970, but really intensified in 1973. It was not a cause of the violence that took place it was a factor that helped to propel the Khmer Rouge regime to power. Uh, many people lost their lives, lost their homes. Uh, the Khmer Rouge gained recruits at this time because of the bombardment. Um, so again, it also contributed to uh, increasing anger at the time. Uh, so it was a, definitely a factor in the rise of the Khmer Rouge to power. Though you can't explain the genocide that took place directly as an outcome uh, of that of that bombing. Thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. 
khăn đặt đất non Việt Nam khăn đóng sầm mây nú cứ miên bầm non bằng cả bạ anh đuổi chấn đại miên cầm cả đất non robot Việt Nam khăn đóng bảy tỷ bảy cứ Campuchia lao nước Việt Nam hai đại bạ anh đuổi chấn cứ đất non chia chấm bón đại miên tiền tiền nhiều bay tiền còn to tiền bảy tỷ hai ai là hỗ trợ từ chai bạ chia bạ chia lui cả đặc bạ Anh đưa chân đi tiết phòng tại lộ dưới sớm chân thế. Thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. You included many different things in that statement, but I certainly, in terms of the beginning of your statement, can confirm that at the initial stages, the Chinese Federation was led by was led by Vietnam, established by Ho Chi Minh. và sầm ngọc cuốn sầm nua mùi tiết tiệt tôn tận đăng cam buổi chiều buổi chiều thập tẩy nhâm trăng xuôi lục thà cày chơi chìm nè đập đập pi mê sa mì pon bẩn bùi chật sập ram ta lục ai cầm nót bàn tiết thà áo váy chia sẽ cái đây trời ca sầm khăn robot cam buổi chiều nước biển luôn Thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. Um, my immediate needs, uh, again, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. If you're talking about the provision of food, the areas in the context of war that might not get the food uh, came up uh, in arguments related to case 002.1. I know that's an issue. Uh, but again, the word needs is a big word, and there are many different ways to interpret it. So if you'd like me to begin to go into the elaborate discussions of the word need in relationship to that moment in time, I can, um, or if you want to be more specific, uh, I can try and keep things short, because I know we've run on quite some time now, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. Yes, thank you very much. I can see that 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 Khang Mo Hoa Ha, đồng bị chạy top từ nâng sẽ đây trở cả bỏ, bị chỉ chuyên cam bị chia nơi khăn ông đầm nạ cả này bỏ cam bị chia bị thập tài. Thank you, Mr. Co-Defense Lawyer. As I said before, I believe that the leaders of the CPK, the Khmer Rouge, had a vision for a world that was better and that had social justice, and they sought to transform society. It's just unfortunate that in doing so, certain groups were eliminated because they were viewed as a threat, as a form of contamination, as a hindrance to that vision. Uh, again, if we go back to the process I outlined when I talked about the process of socioeconomic upheaval, the creation of a blueprint for a better world, uh, so on and so forth, referring to the marking of difference, organization of difference, ideological localization and take, so on and so forth, uh, you know, I outlined the implications and outcomes of what happened, uh, you know, in part because of that vision as the irony ແລະຫຼີນຊີນາສະຫວັງຊິນຈັນສາບາສົມອົກຄຸນຍະຈຸນຍິນໃຫ້ສົມອົກຄຸນລູກທຽນຍົມອອກສົມນູບາອົກ
ต้องการจะรวมได้ตัวนักนมทุบสัมราการนี้จีกาปัทัยยมานเตะตัวตุกอดกอดทากอดเตรียมครูนรุ่ยรอหลายโลกประเทศไอเหล่านี้มองวิกฤตนึกมองดับปีตัวหายโลกประเทศไอซาทาโลกิวสมพรก็ทากอดเตากาเปเวเลสมราปัตไอลูกนุนจีไว้เตรียมครูนรุ่ยสไลด์ดับไปลาวมาขังเลยนี่สมอคุณลกุศลเปียปอนตนดังกันดำนาการในเตะบิทียึดยมสมสูตรตรงเมตุบีกาเปียกระไดทาตาหนุนเชียนบองสิทธิ์มันชลายตอบรือกอนอย่างไม่ให้ไอหลังนี้กอดหนึ่งสาสูตรตเพียกีคือเนี่ยจำเนียงสมเพื่อการปฏิบัติมาแล้วก็มีกอดแหลกบองสัตว์เราเนี่ยกอดสมบอกบองจอลูกกาแหลกบองสัตว์ปรึกไปนั่งดำใบมาชลายตอบอยู่ในจุดนี้จังกอดบอกจะบอกลุนกอดเนี่ยจังกอดสมสมตัวท่าสมตัวตัวสัตว์แต่กอดบานแหลกบองมาไว้ดำใบมาชลายตอบตรงในจุดนี้ดูเช่นนี้ทัศน์ไรตัวเลออองจุ่มลงจุ่มเรียสแต่ถึงจอดจอดเราบอกบอกแห่งสังคมกรรมต่อต่างโดยสัทธาก็บ้านแหลกบองสิทธิ์รุ่นต่อให้ไอ้บ้านมันโดยเฉพาะเด็กเอาไว้เดินจนจอดจอดลายบนเย็นก็เปลี่ยนเหมือนมีนอันตรายไว้ได้ประพุกบอลจับซีบุลท่าน um, ก um, นกสัพนาการเลยกับดงโบงเนี่ยนกเป็นแบบบอกบอกสินแบบนี้เองที่มันให้สู้แต่จุนจอดจอดบานโดยฉะนั้นสมัยตาองจุมเด็กปิจารณาถัดตายยืนอ่านบทประปอนในบ้านเราระเบียบหน้า Monsieur le Président, juste pour une observation pratique, puisque la question de l'état de santé de mon client a été évoquée, que le client n'aurait pas d'audience cet après-midi. Je peux faire les sorts pour continuer un petit la chambre d'entente dans le salon. Je peux faire les sorts pour continuer un petit la chambre d'entente. ลูกเทียนสมกรุบองสามนาคาคำสนรนเมตวีระบบลูกนุนเชียเออคำมันตะเจียคณีจมูกลูกนุนเชียจันดองปรึกนี้กดสับกดมือตุลตุรอลเปลให้กดเคยยืงสาวนาคาในเจียคณีปียุนโดยลูกเวทวีกรมสมอดมันจมริบนังสู้เตาคางเด็กจำเนยปรึกมิ่งยังก็คือจะเชื่อคณิปเรื่องยุนมันได้สักให้เด็กจำเนยเนื้อเดอจำเนยปเรื่องกาเปียธากระนายปียุนตุกโดยชีกาเมืองก็สมมาบำพลื้อก็ดังเรื่องนั่งชั่วแต่ยุนกาปีตรมนาเปียยุนนั่งให้กัดเชงปีกลายนะให้นั่งปีนาคลาดกิตรกาเยียธาเปียยุนอันนั้นก็จังมาบำพลื้อดิบาสันตลาการอันนี้ฮะก็หนึ่งมาบ่อถ่ายมันสำคัญที่ก่อนก่อนมาได้สมอคุณบ่าแล้วนักดำไปสมรู้ปัญหาหนึ่งต่างออกนี้อังยมเรียกก็ทรบบานสดับในปฏิกรรมระบบลูกนุนชี้จะเราเลือกจะเราซาได้ก็ลองเมื่อไอ้ปัญหาที่ปีคือนุ่นคางลูกคือสมพรกอดบานบางหันเฮ้ยทานมันเวียนปัญหาไอ้ที่กอดไอ้บรรทออภิชอบดำไปกอดเมนอกกาสมระในรัสเซียนี่ดิฉันได้เอาอย่างเรียสมรัยท้าสดับในสปอร์ติกรรมต่อไปบ่หลูกนุ่นชี้จมพัวตะไคร่กรรมบ่เนี่ยจมเนียงหินทอนในปีนี้ให้ประกอบเอาอันตรายมันตีคงแข็งนวมครวนลูกนุ่นชี้ลายบอกกันปัดตุบสัมนาคา
បាទតតនេះកុំឲ្យខាត់ពេលអស់ញ្ញាប៉ះផ្ដល់វិធីការជួនទៅនៅលោកនួនជាដើម្បីប្រតិកម្មតបទៅនឹងសុខិកម្ម
ໃນຕອນນີ້ຈະຕ້ອງຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບຕາມຕອບ
thank you, Mr. President. Um, uh, and I'd like to thank uh, the accused uh, for coming here. Uh, to express his views. I think it's very important uh, that his view is heard, his voice is heard. Um, it's been, at least from my perspective, watching too absent. Uh, he has certainly his perspective should be there uh, in these proceedings. So I'd like to start by thanking him for coming and for saying that. Um, in terms of the, and in some ways, you know, he should have the last, as the defendant, have the last word, but since he's asked me a couple of questions. I will briefly respond to them, um, but I'll be very short. Um, in terms of uh, the question about uh, the Vietnamese fulfilling uh, a long-standing goal, um, I think we've discussed in the proceedings uh, that this view, at least I've expressed the view, that this is a very standardized, reductive, teleological view of what occurred. It ignores historical, temporal, and spatial variation. It reduces a complex historical and political situation uh, in a reductive manner that seems as if everyone's just guided in a singular manner towards a goal. So I, with, with respect, um, you know, I respectfully uh, would say that that's not the case. Uh, with regard uh, to the second question um, about the U.S. bombing, um, certainly people have argued that it's possible in international law. It might have violated international law, and uh, it certainly had an awful impact. Um, I think that's, that's, no one would contest that. Um, and as I've said before, the bombing was part of a process of upheaval that combined with the CPK's vision of society, ultimately and unfortunately, once people were labeled as class enemies, as subversives, as counter-revolutionaries growing within, led to genocide. I think, you know, again, I, I thought you should have the last word. You know, you referred back to me, so maybe I'll just end by saying that I'm glad that the discussion here about the word UN hopefully can provoke critical thought and discussion about this term, its use, its connotations. I think that's a valuable uh, pedagogical exercise in general. Um, but in the end, I stand strongly by my stance that the word UN can be a very incendiary word. It's a word that can incite hatred and violence. And in the context of DK, it was an incitement to genocide. Thank you, Mr. President. And thank you, Mr. បាទអរគុណហើយអរគុណនៅអ្នកជំនាញសាមនាការថ្ងៃនេះដល់ពេលឈប់ <cười> ສະດັບໃຫ້ກຳສະໄສໃຫ້ມີທາງສະນຽມປີທີທີ່ລະບາຍຢູ່ບົນ <coughs> 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 Alexander Laban Hinton, ແລະលោកបានចំណាយពេលវេលាដែលមានតម្លៃពេលដំណើរមកពីទីឆ្ងាយឯងនេះសមុទ្រមកដល់ the Kaikama 
ហើយមន្ត្រីរដ្ឋវិទ្យាលាយការនៅរដ្ឋមន្ត្រីមួយនឹងបុគ្គលិកអ្នកអង្គភាពកម្ពុជាសាក្ស័យនឹងអ្ន